All new at 6, Hawaii News now has learned a Maui Health Center faced an alleged ransomware attack by one of the largest groups in the world whose leaders are based in Russia. Last month, the center was shut down for more than two weeks, but now says its systems are fully operational. On June 7th, Falcon Feeds, a cybersecurity firm based in India, posted on its ex social media page that Lockbit has targeted the community clinic of Maui, also known as Malama Ikeola Health Center, as their latest victim. Falcon Feed CEO shared this screenshot with Hawaii News Now, showing Lockbit's dark web portal. He says the group has extended a ransom deadline until today, but so far has not posted any samples of breach data. Because you know that Lockbit is on uh, like media always for the wrong reasons. The alleged cyber attack led to operations at Malama Ikeola Health Center in Wailuku to being shut down for more than two weeks last month. The center serves roughly 12,000 patients and the disruption left people scrambling. I always worried about uh, personal information being hacked. A spokesperson did not answer specific questions about Lockbit or an alleged ransom, but says systems are now operational after what it called an IT security issue and that quote, impacted patients, if any, are properly notified. Today, U.S. and U.K. law enforcement are taking away the keys to their criminal operation. And we are going a step further. We have also obtained keys from the C's lockbit infrastructure to help victims decrypt their captured systems and regain access to their data. In February, the U.S. Attorney General announced the disruption of the Lockbit Ransomware Group, one of the most prolific ransomware groups in the world that has targeted more than 2,000 victims, received more than $120 million in ransom payments, and made hundreds of millions of dollars in demands. Several Lockbit members, including the alleged Russian mastermind, were charged last month. They deploy a ransomware variant that allows them to encrypt those computer systems and hold them hostage. Cybersecurity experts in Hawaii say ransom amounts don't have to be large and can be as much as insurance covers. These kind of attacks are, are, all, are done nowadays to uh, community hospitals and rural uh, agencies largely because of the fact that they, they do succeed. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office says it cannot confirm or deny the existence of non-public reports or investigations and will forward our question to the FBI.